Hi, Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Getting to work on his RV finally. Um, I had two schools today. Uh, some of the people chose not to make a video. It's okay, not everybody is uh, video likable. I don't know, whatever the word is, photogenic. But here we go. We're going to do the guard, the drip rail trim lock. Uh, install. But we'll show you first what has to be done. Now, so basically, the old stuff's out. Here's your drip rail, your gutter, and here's the trim lock. This was the old stuff, okay, brittle, but it goes down in there and it locks in. The problem is, it's brittle and it is um, not holding in. Now, this is like 20 some years old so here's what you got to do first you take a toothbrush there's a little channel up in there okay right up in here and then there see it? now watch the dirt watch the dirt that we'll get out of this now we go all the way down 40 some foot so it's 80 top and bottom so all right look at that dirt come out now i'm gonna keep going all right, and I'm gonna do that all the way. I've done it from the front right to here now. But watch the dirt, watch the dirt. Okay. All right, and I blow it out. <clears throat> and I do that a couple times, all right, folks? So you take a toothbrush, that's why I don't throw the old ones away. I keep them in my RV. So we have the drip rail trim lock gasket seal I get mine from rubber gaskets or steel gaskets your cheap stuff's 80 90 cents a foot your good stuff is three dollars so yeah each side's over a hundred and twenty dollars because I get 41 foot all right so thank you very much it's Jeff from RV Donuts it's just a quick video to help you out remember if you replace this seal please there's two channels one on the top one on the bottom all right there you go from the side. These little flat spots right here go into there. All right. Right into there and up in. All right. So you have to get all the dirt out. Hence, you can see where this started molding. All right. That's it. I'm going to brush this all the way down, get all the dirt out. Then I'll make another short video on me putting in a seal. I'll show you how much thicker the seal is. Back in the days, this was made of good rubber. It finally got hardened after UVA and B-Ray. Uh, I'm sorry I never put the 303 on there, Aerospace 303. It would have probably last a lot longer, but way more for 20-some years. <laughs> this is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Thank you.